Hey guys, it's Smalls and I wanted to do a really cool topic and fun topic to me and that is about the sign of Aquarius because I'm an Aquarius in case you haven't noticed. I'm a pretty typical Aquarius, which is hard for me to say because Aquarians are individualists and we don't like to um, fit into any boxes. <laughs> But I, really quickly before I get into this video, I wanted to mention that this is probably the last time I will record a video in this space, which is bittersweet. Um, I really love this room, but my husband and I are moving. Um, we will temporarily be living with my mother-in-law, which sounds awful to the average person, which I'm sure it would be, but I love my mother-in-law and she has a heated pool, so it's not all bad. <laughs> I actually I really do love my mother-in-law like I, I legit love this woman but anyway I digress let's get into um, Aquarians so uh, this is mostly going to relate to um, people with Aquarius as their Sun sign um, Aquarians in general are very friendly um, we are the humanitarian of the zodiac so you will see a lot of Aquarians that are fighting for human rights, for um, animals, for rainforest conservation, uh, things like that. In terms of career, you'll see a lot of Aquarians that are teaching, um, some that are in like counseling positions, anything that's going to positively affect people. Um, Aquarius is actually um, also into technology. A lot of Aquarians will have the latest gadgets and totally be into, um, like, you know, uh, virtual reality and things like that. Basically cutting edge technology, they are into it. Um, and if not, they will be into, um, you know, photography or um, things like that. Anything that is futuristic, Aquarians totally dig. Um, so, uh, like I said, Aquarians have good good traits, um, but we can also be really cold, and we can be really mean uh, when we feel like it's necessary to be. Um, I think some half of the time, it's not intentional. Um, our coldness comes off very rude and mean, um, but I think part of it is just we're kind of blunt. Um, if this is how it is, and this is how we feel, this is kind of what we say we don't really sugarcoat things um we also have a little tolerance for people who are rude we have a little tolerance for people that we consider stupid <laughs> i don't i i don't mean any disrespect to people but if um an aquarian perceives you as um kind of uh just dumb <laughs> we don't have time for that and we'll, we'll peace out or we'll just tell you that we think you're stupid um but Aquarians are also kind of stubborn, and we're also kind of walking contradictions. We really, really are. We will be thrift shopping, and we will love thrift shopping, and then the next day we'll buy like a $300 pair of shoes. I don't, I don't get it, but that's, that's what we are. Um, colors associated with Aquarius, ironically enough, are turquoise and deep blue that is not why I bought this I just love those colors uh, I have also heard um, of Aquarius being related to the rainbow which makes a lot of sense to me uh, a lot of Aquarian females that I have encountered will often wear bright eye makeup and bright lip colors and all kinds of nail polish colors and their outfits will be a kind of eccentric uh, we don't want to be like anyone else and if you buy the same pair of shoes as your Aquarius friend, she will stop wearing them. I can almost guarantee you, and she will probably be mad at you for getting for copying her. She doesn't want anyone else to be like her, and she does not want to be like anyone else. She is an individualist to the max. Uh, Aquarians are also kind of rebellious, um, and like I said, we don't want to be like anyone else. We don't necessarily want to follow the rules but being the walking contradictions that we are uh we also really <laughs> we really like tradition we really like uh family traditions and things like that like i know that if i have kids i'm going to be doing a lot of the same things that my family 
did with me as a child so but on the same hand like I know that I'll be introducing new traditions of my own um some famous Aquarians there's there's quite a few of course um, but I think Aquarius is the rarest of the signs um, Aquarians famous Aquarians include uh, Oprah that's a good good uh, example of a humanitarian and Ellen Ellen DeGeneres um, oh of course uh, James Dean the uh, 50s actor he was an Aquarius the rebel without a cause very fitting so that just kind of confirms we're not like anyone else but Aquarians do make really good friends um, typically we don't get along with Scorpio and we don't get along with uh, cancer um, I have had trouble getting along with those signs supposedly we don't get along with Virgo but I have two like best friends that are Virgos so I don't know see there I go again I don't fit into a box um, <laughs> I, ho I hope you guys know I'm joking somewhat um, but yeah Aquarians we can um, yeah we just kind of have like this air of not caring um, because sometimes have we we sometimes we don't which again is such a contradiction to our humanitarian nature um, it, it's it's ridiculous it's hard to be an Aquarius I'm not even gonna lie like some days I most days I will just want to have a nice evening at home and chill and watch Netflix or read a book or you know just chat with my friends online and then the next day I will want to get totally dolled up and like go out and have like an adventure <laughs> I don't I don't know I don't know um, but uh, signs that Aquarians typically get especially along with especially are the other air signs so that would be Libra and Gemini two of my siblings are Libra and then my mother-in-law surprise is a Libra and my sister-in-law one of my sister-in-laws is also a Libra and I get along with them very well I um, I really like Libra they um, they kind of mellow Aquarius out I think um, they are very loving and very beautiful Le Libras are very beautiful people and Gemini Gemini like to talk as much as Aquarius so if you get an Aquarius and a Gemini together like your throat will hurt <laughs> from talking so much it's it's really fun and I think Gemini kind of brings out um, like a more lightheartedness to Aquarius so that they will um, kind of um, have more of like a party vibe I don't I don't know I hope I hope you understand what I mean by that but um, I guess this according to this book which I'll show you the cover of it it's the complete book of astrology. Um, the key word for Aquarius is unconventional, which is absolutely true. I don't think that we necessarily are all about reinventing the wheel, but more about tweaking the wheel uh, to see what happens when you do that. <laughs> So, um, that's kind of my overview on Aquarius. I definitely plan to do other signs. I think by doing these videos, I will learn um, a little bit more about the signs that I don't already know a lot about. Um, so, I think I'll just probably go in order. So, my next sign will be Pisces, and I hope to get that done. Since I'm technically unemployed, which it won't be very long. I've got quite a few applications, in, and I've got an interview. No worries, I got this, guys. Um... I will probably be doing that pretty soon here, um, so definitely look out for for that. Um, let me know what your experience is with Aquarians. Are you an Aquarius? Did you completely disagree with everything that I said, or did you feel some of my points? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, have a good day. Bye, guys.